I'm just hiding around the side of my house to get out of the snow. It's catching it okay, but those bushes are just there. Kind of splitting the wind up. So normally I'd expect it to be absolutely woofing it around. Yeah, I've got the multimeter on and the two batteries on, so we'll see, we'll see what it's doing later on when I put a video up for what the meter was saying. So, it's supposed to get very windy in the next hour or so, so we shall see so, so, so. Bye. A few little clanks. But... That's it running loaded into those two batteries. So he's trying to push them in. Here. Multimeter set up on a time lapse so you can see what Good, we've got a nice bit of wind, so I'm hoping we're going to see some good numbers on these two junkers. Yeah, definitely pulling. I think one of those nuts is actually just clipping the top of the chain a tiny little bit, so that's not good. Be dealt with when I take this end off. So yeah, sweet. Look, there's one up to 24.9. Just go and show you the turbine. Now you know that what it's trying to do. So it's trying to push power into the <coughs> two knackered batteries. So not doing a bad job so if I, if I took it off load it would go a lot faster but it's trying to push stuff in the batteries so certainly when it's <coughs> hitting as fast as it can go slow down a little bit now So yeah, it's pretty good. It's definitely catching the wind. This is just a minute after I was up looking at the turbine. So yeah, it's taking some wind, so just got to hope it gets sustained because every time it it, the wind drops off the batteries because they're crap they're going to start going down if anyone's got any new car batteries please give me a shout I'll give you £10 each can't say fairer than that and I'll be back in a bit it's going back to your oh, I feel it going to hit 26 yeah sweet it's definitely howling Nice. Yeah, with some decent batteries and a controller, I can see this thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off. I'm going to take the battery connector off and just see if it goes up above 24. Oh, sorry, it's still reading the battery. Doofus. There you go, that's the turbine. So that's running at 40. Mm. 
now I've connected the battery up, it's running at that. It is howling. Just gonna go check the turbine. <clears throat> Isn't gonna blow up. Woo shit! Got one of the cans is catching the top of the chain, just a tiny little bit. Uh, there's problems with the chain uh, at the oil drum end, which I'll explain via uh, text, it's easier, so. Yeah, it's not bad. Still Getting ready for another gust. There's going to be another gust. Come on, on a 26er. So I just put two uh, five kilo weights on there, one on each side. Just wanted to see what it does. Seems to be doing about the same. If I don't see an improvement from doing it, I'll just take them off. But I was hoping as there's quite a lot of wind, Yeah, it seems to be working. Yeah, that's good. So, just need a period of sustained wind. I'll leave those weights on for a bit. But really, it's looking good so far. No, oh, back in a bit, this will just carry on. So yeah, that's it running, uh, loaded to those two batteries. So it's keeping going at that speed, and I've put, I don't know if you can see, you can see the great weight at the bottom of the can. That's causing the bottom of one of the cans to catch some of the chains sometimes. I'll sort that out, but that's easily done. Pretty well at the moment, so hopefully the wind keeps up. The welds come off the bottom. <laughs> the welds come off the bottom. There. Welded that to the bottom of the bearings and it's come off, so it's just free spinning. So that's going, but that's the end of the experiment. All we have to do is re weld it. Uh, it's super windy, but 
So I've just welded this back on. That, you know, the, the welds are broken off, so just smash some more in there and then. So that goes in the bottom end. And I'll have to spend 10 minutes pissing about the chain and setting it up, but then it should be, I want to run it again while it's really windy. So, just thought I'd show you this without the blades on. camera can undo these can actually uh, slide that up you see so I'm gonna slide that up Ooh. do I want to do that bottom one up there's no real need to tighten that bottom one because I know at the moment it's not hitting the metal. So yeah, I'm just going to show you that. Anyway, I'm going to put the cans back on and get it running again, hopefully. So you can see how it works. Get these bad boys back on, she'll be beasting it. I'm going to let it rip, it's still connected to those car batteries. You feel that, that vibrating. Go down and see what it says on the meter. 